Hi, it's Matt from Great Lakes Home Performance. In my last video where we talked about the Wi-Fi controller for the blower door, a few people noticed that I'm using the duct blaster fan to do a blower door test. And they were like, hey, wait a minute, since when could you do that? Well, like since forever. What did you do with the manual that came with your blower door and duct blaster? So the keys to use in this are number one, it's the duct blaster fan, so you have to use the duct blaster speed controller because the plug is different. It's the little round one instead of the big hexagon shaped one that goes on the blower door. So the key to using the duct blaster fan as a blower door is that number one, you can't do a great big huge super leaky house. The limit of this fan is about 1500 CFMs of leakage. Now the gauge does have the PRFL at 50 feature, so if you can't quite get to 50, it'll do the math and tell you what you're at, but you start losing a lot of accuracy beyond that. You'll also have to have a cover for the fan. Now if you only do a few houses or maybe one special project that's really, really airtight and you don't have ring C or D for your blower door, you can use the duct blaster fan without having to buy the fancy red cover. You can actually make yourself a cover out of cardboard or rigid foam. I remember testing a passive house one time that was a 2,500 square foot house that tested at 134 CFM at 50. To test that house, we used a piece of rigid foam and took one of the windows out and replaced that window with a 3x3 three three piece of rigid foam with the duct blaster fan taped to the foam. And that works just fine. What we have to do is to change a few settings on the gauge. Okay, on our gauge, we're still going to have the green tube connected to the outside through the blower door cover, and the red tube is going to go down to the fan. Nothing different. The difference is that we're going to tell the DG700 or your gauge, whatever gauge you happen to be using, that our device, and we're on pressure and flow at 50, and our device, instead of being BD3, we're going to tell it that we're on duct blaster B for our device. Because that's what the gauge really cares about. It wants to know what fan we're using, so what pressure and speed and all that kind of stuff. Now, I do have my Wi-Fi controller on top of here, but we don't have to use it. I actually have the power unplugged right now. Okay, I'm going to go back and put this back on the blower door, but before I do that, I'm going to turn the gauge off. One of the things that you should remember about any of these gauges is to have them powered off when you plug in the tubes. You don't want to be pinching a tube and put it in there and overpower the sensors, so it's always best to just turn your gauge off, plug the hoses in, and then turn it back on and go through your settings. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I have the fan set up again with the gauge plugged into the blower door, my green tube running to the outside, the red tube down to the fan, the gauge is set for duct blaster model B under the device and I have it also set to open. We've already taken a baseline and I'm actually going to go ahead and use my Wi-Fi controller so I don't have to stand right over next to the fan. And you can hear that when I turn it on, it's actually a pretty quiet fan. Now just like the blower door, you can actually install the rings on this thing to restrict the aperture of the fan down to do a really airtight house. I remember testing that passive house and we tested it with this fan and ring 3 which is an opening only about that big for 134 CFM at 50. But most houses like this house that we're standing in, I think this is a 2400 square foot house and it's going to test between 800 and 900 CFMs so I'm just going to run the fan wide open and we get very accurate results. But one of the coolest things about this setup is how light and easy it is to tote around. So if you're tired of lugging that great big huge fan around, upgrade your system to this stuff that fits in just one little small bag. You can even break the frame down so that it fits into that one big long nylon bag that they ship it in. I leave my frame put together because I drive a bigger truck and it's easier to just slide it in there all put together, but it comes apart very easily. So that's all it takes to use the duct blaster fan as a blower door. If you have any questions about this setup, please put them down in the comments section. I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as I can. If you want to order a cover and a different speed controller or the Wi-Fi controller, get a hold of the Energy Conservatory. Watch my other video for a demonstration on how we use the Wi-Fi controller 
to control the blower door with an iPhone or an iPad. Hit subscribe so you'll be notified as soon as I post more videos and I'll see you again soon. Oh, we're still rolling. Ha, cool. That only require, I've got an itch on my nose and I'm going to scratch it right now, but I'm not picking my nose. It's just a whisker. Okay, I'm going to start again. So, uh, I'm going to go over and put, put it, set the gauge properly and uh,